Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Home Studio Trainer Show. And today we're going to take a look at copying and pasting MIDI notes. Uh, this actually uh, comes from a question in the uh, Studio One uh, support group there on Facebook. And I did a video for somebody and uh, thought it actually turned out pretty good and uh, decided to do an intro for it. Uh, so here we go. Uh, if you guys could, I'd really appreciate it. If you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, enable the notifications so that you know when these crazy things are going to start. And you can either become a member of the YouTube channel and help out that way, or you can follow the link in the description and become a member of my Patreon. You get all sorts of cool benefits over there, such as uh, free videos and free one-on-one. -on -one. Well, for the price of your subscription over there on Patreon, on, on Patreon, <laughs> you will actually get free training uh, after that point and everything. So I hope you guys join me over there. Let's get right to the video. Okay, if you're working with multiple MIDI tracks or, or instrument tracks, you can see I've got these two here. They're colored. And if you look down at the editor, we can see that when I click on one, you can see the other. Just like this. If you are seeing all of the MIDI data down here, that means you have to open this little guy here. It says track list. And you can see here where you can display all of your MIDI. You can easily actually turn one off to display the other. This is easier to do when you have the note color in part. If you have it on velocity, things get really messy. Even if you're going to edit all of it. But if you have the note color in part, you can discern the different tracks a little bit easier if you want to display them all at once. If you only want to work on one, you have to make sure that using this section here, that you actually turn off the others so if you had multiple you'd want them all off except for this one now if i actually change the track that i'm showing you can see that this area changes because i have only selected one to view so it's going to follow the track that you have suggested hopefully that makes sense again if you want to view all the midi data at once you have to make sure that this little white dot is on for all of the tracks listed all right, so let's uh, look at copying. There's an easy way to do this without using the right click. So for this part here, I let's just say that for no reason whatsoever, <laughs> I want to take these this group of MIDI notes and copy them down here. Now I could, if I wanted to, I could do that all right from here, copy all the notes, and then do a, and then uh, see do a right click and a copy, and then go to the second track and paste them. So let's try that. Let's go to this. I want to pull this down. Want to right click, and I want to copy. Now I want to go to the second track. And since I have the the uh, since I have the cursor in the correct place, I can do a right click. And I can do a paste. There we go. There's all the notes. The other way to do it is to actually do it with the events. So with the two events, I can do it this way. I can either use the cut tool or I can use the range tool. So this one, we're going to have to use a keyboard shortcut. So if I just use the range tool, and I select these notes. I go back to the arrow. And if I hold down the Alt key, I can drag this down. Boom. Everything's copied. If I want to do that on the same track, it's the same process. Go to the range tool. Select the notes that I want to copy. Go back to the pointer. Hold down the Alt key and drag over. Boom. So you have to hold the Alt key while you drag. If I want to go back, 
or if I want to go down. I'm holding the Alt key to do this. This, to me, is a lot easier than trying to do all the copy and pasting down here. Because then with this, you have to go up, you have to go back, you have to select the different tracks like this, you have to make sure that your track list is displaying correctly when you actually click on a track. Because if you're displaying everything, it's going to be really confusing. But in that case, you, if you actually use the note color per part, not pitch, not velocity, it's going to be a lot easier to know which track you're editing. So in review, let me actually undo all the way back. There we go. So in review, if you want to copy a, a MIDI section of notes to a particular spot on an adjoining track, use the arrange tool, select the notes up here in the editor or in the uh, arrange view, go back to the pointer, hold your alt key, pull down and let go of the alt key and you can see that all of the information is pasted correctly if you want to do that on the same track you do the same thing use the range tool select the notes that you want to select go back to the pointer hold down your alt key and drag to the position that you want boom all the notes have been copied so, <laughs> hopefully that helps. You cannot do that down here. It gets really confusing down here, especially if you're displaying all of your tracks at once and you don't have the note color set to part. So remember, if you want to just display one track at a time, if you've got more than one, make sure all of these little dots are off and only the one that you want is on. And then when you actually select the tracks, the information displayed in the window down here is only the information in the track you want to edit from. So I can even take something that I've already pasted, hold down the Alt key, and now I can drag it down here if I want. And now I've got all the information here. So remember, your Alt key is uh, is your savior. If you're on a Mac, it's the Option key. So <laughs> I hope that that makes sense.